Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to migrate project with verse in UEFN. In today's video I will be showing you how you can migrate project in UEFN. So first of all you should have a map that you want to migrate. So this is the map that I wanted to migrate. You should open content drawer and you will have to find the map level so first type the map level like this and then find the map level where it says a level you can also press on level and from filter you can type here level and it will show you level and after doing that you will find the OGFFA level this is like my map name you should right click on that and go to asset actions after doing that press on migrate and then okay here it will open the file explorer you will need to find the file in which you want to put the map okay so i will put it in wait let me find where is it fortnite projects and it will be from i with i I I A B C D. It will be not here then. It should be in this one then. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's this one. You can now you say it says uh select a content folder so you should press ok go to plugins go to the file name and then press on content don't double click just press on content and select folder it will say the content folder and after doing that you can press on select and then it will take some time to migrate the project it depending on the size of the project like let's say my map it's huge so it will take some time and then we will launch into it okay so here we are all done after you migrate your project make sure to close uefn and open it again so that you can see your project inside of uefn after that you will have to open the project which is the uh, that you migrated in press on that and then it will take some time to open it after doing that you see it does not show anything yet here but if you press on file and then press on open level it will show you now two levels which is OGFFA that we migrated and this is the one that is before one so the OGFFA one you will have to double click or you can open it and it will take some time to load it and then the map will be migrated but in this the verse will not be migrated and the setting of words will also not be migrated okay so i will show you that it uses this words but now as you can see there is no words even in the words explorer you don't see any words so you will have to uh, do the words thing manually else everything is all set now in this you can see everything is exact but now you can see the name of the project level has been changed but the project name is still the same so in this we have now two levels either you can use the instant respawn or you can use the OGF. Okay. So that is it for this. This method I'll be telling you how you can migrate your UEFN project with verse. So first of all you are going to create a island template. You can name it however you want. I'm typing it as hello. If you have um island already created you don't need to create a new one i'm just creating it so you guys can see this how it works so 
as you can see I have two spawners and there is no worse added to it yet make sure to join my discord server so that you can get uh, the codes that I have in my maps let's say we're gonna use a red versus blue kill counter in this map now we're going to verse add new verse file take it as counter create it as empty counter double click and here we go now what you have to do is to just put the verse inside the map and then i will show you what else you are gonna do so let's say this is the verse thingy and we need to do settings of it so we need a elimination manager and that is it you can name it however you want i'm putting it as red versus blue i'm using a red color a blue color and 120 at horizontal and then i will be adding some walls so we know that it is getting migrated correctly okay so we're gonna add two walls here two walls here we can just add some floor now one two one two and same on the other side okay that is it for this one you can save selected and after you are done save selected open file open or you can directly press on control content drawer uh, right click on hello content that is your map name show in explorer as you can see here there's a my map is in new volume d that is hello so i will press on new volume d as you can see this is hello make sure to double click or click on the hello and here you can see a text file in this text file you are going to remove the binding make sure that you remove only the binding and these brackets will remain the same as you can see this break there are two brackets here there is a id project id verse and modules you need to remove that and make sure to press file and save after doing that you will go out right click on it and copy and then you need to find epic games where the game is downloaded press on epic games press on fortnite press on fortnite games so you need to search for vk templates if you don't have vk template you can make a new folder for it and after that you need to make a folder for worse or you can make a folder for basic i will like i will show you it's the same thing but as worse or basic basic i have it as basic here and as worse i will add it here so in worse and basic i have added in both now you need to press on project and then go to as you can see we see hello in the feature examples and down if we go here we will find we will find in getting started and game example in both as you can see in both now you have to name it you can type it however you want i tap it as hello okay now here as you can see this is a new level that name is hell and it has all the things that we put in our map and we, it has the verse as well as you can see here this is the verse counter dot verse that is it for this tutorial okay so now in this one i will be showing you how you can copy and paste 
structures or any settings so first of all we will start with our walls let's say we have a wall we can copy and paste it in other maps or we can get a code of it so this is the let's say this is our wall like you have to press ctrl c and after that you can open notepad and in notepad you can type you can control v so as you can see it has the code for our wall now if you press ctrl a ctrl c and you paste it again you can see we have two walls now and if you keep pasting uh, keep pasting it it will show more and you, you can do the same in other maps to get the walls now if we go on the island settings here you need to press on the island setting in outliner you can control c go to the notepad and you can control v here so as here you can see all the settings that has been done in notepad so you can use this control c and control v in any map to get the island settings so here i have one more thing that i want to add like let's say there is a max ratio max player of 100 right so i want it to be 1000 players in my map i will type 1000 and copy it and paste it here so as here you can see there is 1000 max players that people can join you can do same with everything you can have 1000 around you can have index as 1000 also no you cannot have okay wait it's for the other one okay uh, you can have the invitation as 1000 you can have everything as 1000 like auto start at 1000 seconds game countdown 1000 seconds force delay 1000 seconds and respawn time 1000 seconds you can also put zero seconds um, or maybe one is only that yeah yes you can also put zero seconds at respawn time here and you can put spawn limit however you want you can put 1 million 1000 10000 uh, that is on you so that is it for this tutorial make sure to subscribe i will be uploading more tutorial like this stay tuned and make sure you are on my discord server so whenever there is a new video you will be notified and all the codes that are free will be posted there so i hope you like the video phantom 1x sign in out Peace.